Zion Williamson has recently been the talk of the media world. Reportedly, every chef in New Orleans is looking out for him, and every chef is looking for him because he can quote-unquote eat the table. But in this clips, and these subsequent clips specifically, we're going to look at how he is a handful for defenders. As we play this clip right here, you're going to see CJ McCollum is, is guarded by Troy Brown Jr. early in this clip, and we have Kyle Anderson kind of sitting in a little bit of a drop position who's essentially guarding Zion Williamson in this clip. As we play this clip a little bit more, what you're going to see is CJ McCollum kind of drives into Kyle Anderson a little bit, and he's kind of stuck in a sticky situation. But what you notice right here is Zion and Williamson is open from the three-point line. The biggest thing about Zion Williamson you have to notice is even though people are accusing him of eating a lot or maybe being fat, he is still an explosive athlete, even at maybe what he is, like 300 pounds. And as you play this clip right here, Zion Williamson immediately has an advantage. We have Troy Brown Jr. on his toes right here. You see his toes barely touching the ground. And Zion Williamson has a great cutting angle all the way to the basket. And there's no way Mike Conley can do anything about that, honestly. So as we play this clip kind of a little bit more, what we're going to see is Zion Williamson just get right past Troy Brown Jr. He has no chance. And we have Carl Anthony Towns coming over, but he kind of just goes for like a swipe on the ball right here. And... That's never going to work, and Zion Williamson goes in for the easy dunk. Mike Conley, I mean, he's he's basically out of this play by this point. Now let's play the next clip right here. This clip specifically is going to feature Zion Williamson in the pick and roll and show exactly what he can do when a play is kind of set up for him. Right here at the top of the key, you instantly kind of see a couple of important things. First, you see Jonas Valanciunas kind of starting to set a screen onto Carl Anthony Towns. And you also see Brandon Ingram kind of coming up here, kind of looking for the ball. We have Zion Williamson dribbling the ball down the court, which is pretty unusual for somebody of his position as a power forward slash center. Um, but this kind of makes the action available to happen because Carl Anthony Towns is on Zion early in this clip, and that forces him to kind of get back into the paint. You see how much space is kind of here. And I guess that kind of shows you just how poor Zion's three-point shooting is, but he makes up for that with his ability to finish around the rim and be an elite scorer. So first off, he kind of passes it to Brandon Ingram. It seems like he had two options on this play. He could either have gone around the screen by Jonas Valanciunas or utilize maybe the quote-unquote better player, and he passes the ball to Brandon Ingram. Now right here, Cat is already on the back foot, so he knows, hey, I might have to get around this screen, but I mean, I'm not going to go over this screen. That This path of, re of resistance makes no sense because Zion Williamson can't shoot the three, and instead, I should probably go under. But what Kat's probably thinking about is, hey, do I switch with Jaden McDaniels? What do I do here? And what you're going to see is that as he kind of is thinking about this decision, he kind of second guesses himself. He shuffles his feet a little bit, but he ends up saying, okay, I'll stay with my man. Jaden McDaniels has really no chance. But this late slide, even just a second late slide, you see there's kind of a lot of space here and there's really nobody to kind of take up that empty space because Zion's such a massive force there's no way this guy can kind of get into the driving lane and guard him so he's he really is a step too late here and Cat obviously doesn't have the explosiveness that um, Zion Williamson has but what you see here is that Cat actually guesses right in this place I think he was clearly guessing he had to guess is he going to drive around me left or around me right and he he picked right because he was trying to guard get around him to the left side and so now Carl Anthony Towns is right in front of him we see Rudy Gobert in this in the, in kind of a drop position to help and it seems like right now we have a seven footer we have another basically seven footer in Carl Anthony Towns right at the rim and Rudy Gobert may be defensive player of the year this play looks like it stopped and for most bigs in the NBA they wouldn't even think about you know taking a shot here or doing anything here but we're going to see Zion do is he looks like he's going to try to split the defenders. And Rudy Gobert and uh, Carl Anthony Towns, it seems like they can't really believe it. So Carl Anthony Towns starts to go for the ball, and it seems like Rudy Gobert starts to like kind of back up a little bit, expecting, okay, if he does get around, I'll try and maybe help out Cat. But it seems really weird to them, I think, that he's kind of bull rushing right into him. But that's what makes Zion different. And Rudy Gobert, I think, had kind of the right idea here. He was like, okay, I'm going to back up in case he kind of spins around and kind of makes Cat um, get on the back foot. And that's exactly what happens here. Rudy Gobert is going to kind of try and get him at the basket. 
Zion Williamson kind of does this cool spin move where he spins around and kind of goes the other way, which basically gets him in front of Cat, and there's really nobody to guard him there. Rudy Gobert is going to try to contest him up top, but, I mean, it's Zion Williamson right here. He really has no chance. He's on the other side of the rim, essentially, by then, and it's really just an easy layup for Zion Williamson and really showcases his ability to utilize the dribble handoff from Brandon Ingram and how he finishes in the paint, even with probably the best lineup to guard him in Minnesota that has two elite bigs on their roster. In this clip, we have Nas Reed guarding Zion Williamson and Jose Alvarado guarded by Nikhil alexander Walk. And in this clip specifically, we're going to focus on the importance and the evolution of Zion Williamson as a player and how he's gotten a lot better in the pick and roll and the threat he really creates. As you see, Jose Alvarado and Zion Williamson are running this very early in the shot clock. There's still 20 seconds essentially left. And Zion Williamson's going to kind of come over here, set an easy screen here, while the defense kind of back here is not really set up at all. It's more like a fast break kind of possession. It seems like Nikhil Alexander-Walker is pretty focused on Jose Alvarado as he's kind of staring him with a death stare right in the eye. But as we kind of see the clip right here, we're going to see this type of screen Zion sets. So he kind of sets like a little touch screen, uh, essentially wanting Nikhil Alexander-Walker to feel him, um, but essentially to try to force the switch, to force Nas Reed to kind of come up, contest Jose Alvarado, and so that he kind of has this easy space right here. And I think that's kind of what he was looking for, for the space behind the basket and for an easy, easy lob over the defender by um, Jose Alvarado. What you're going to see right here is that brush screen actually worked really well by Zion Williamson because of his huge frame, honestly. I think as soon as Nikhil Alexander-Walker felt the contact, he kind of struggled to get over the screen, and that created this space. You see he's kind of like a step or two in front of him, and Nas Reed was forced to stay with Zion Williamson. Normally in drop coverage, the big should be like probably about here, closer to where um, Kyle Anderson is, but instead he kind of follows Zion all the way because he thinks, okay, this play is clearly for Zion Williamson. Jose Alvarado isn't the star on this team, and the ball is probably meant to get to Zion Williamson, but Nas Reed stays with him, and that kind of leads this open lane right here. It's kind of a lane straight to the basket, um, and that's kind of what the mistake in drop coverage did here, and it allows basically Jose Alvarado to put up an easy floater, all because of the presence that Zion Williamson has on the court and his ability to kind of set great screens because of his wide frame and because of his ability to be powerful um, and strong in the screen setting as a whole. So in this next clip right here, we have Zion Williamson guarded by Troy Brown Jr., probably the best person to guard him on this roster when he's on the perimeter. But we also see Rudy Gobert here in drop position, and he's guarding Jonas Valanciunas in this specific clip. And I think this is perfect for somebody like Rudy Gobert when you have a big, big pick and roll, which is definitely not something you see. When you have Jonas Valanciunas setting a screen for somebody like Zion Williamson, you can only hope to have such an elite kind of rim defender like Rudy Gobert, who has been fantastic this year as opposed to last year. And he's going to kind of be in a big drop coverage here because he knows, I mean, Jonas Valanciunas shoots threes every now and then, but I mean, you're really afraid of kind of the rim drive in this specific play. What you see here is the big, big pick and roll. I mean, there's two huge bodies here. I mean, one of them is probably like around 300 pounds. Jonas Valanciunas is probably around 270. And so Troy Brown Jr. gets caught on the screen, but that's expected. The thing about this play is there's really no threat from three. And honestly, I think Jonas Valanciunas kind of creates a bad angle for Troy Brown Jr. because of his huge frame and kind of makes him go over the screen if he has any hope of contesting this. And this leaves Zion Williamson a step in front. Now, with normal bigs, you'd expect that space to be easily made up after kind of Rudy Gobert threatening to kind of stop this action. But Zion Williamson, I mean, he's an explosive guy, even if he's reportedly been eating a lot and is fat and things of that nature. I mean, he's still explosive. And what you see here is he continues to keep the advantage. And now Rudy Gobert, he's stuck between a rock, Zion Williamson, and a really hard place in Jonas Valanciunas. And both of them are rushing towards the rim on either side of him. And so he has to kind of pick a direction. Usually direction is to kind of stop the ball. After all, that's kind of the star in this case in Zion Williamson. But Rudy Gobert kind of tries to split the difference here. He tries to guard both angles and this leaves him in a kind of a terrible position. Troy Brown Jr. right now, he, he's pretty much out of the play. Um, he's not able to kind of contest Zion whatsoever. 
Rudy Gobert tries to recover and tries to meet him, it seems like, up top. He's trying to kind of dissuade the shot, but Zion Williamson's super explosive. For most maybe smaller guards, this would be a great position for Rudy Gobert to be in, but for a large man like Zion Williamson, he just has so much strength and power, and he's going to give him a little body bump, and you're just not going to be able to really contest his um, ball outside. Although Rudy Gobert, I mean, one of the best defenders at the rim this year, is able to do a great job. I mean, if you think about it, if this was Steph Curry, Dame Lillard, any smaller player, he probably gets this block. I mean, look how close it is right here to him, like, pulling it off the backboard. But instead, it's going to end up with, obviously, a made basket right here. And to emphasize in this video, I mean, Zion Williamson really has been really good this season, I think, for the Pelicans. A lot of people have been talking about his weight, but I think it's also important to stress how we only worry about his weight just because of how dominant he can be on the basketball court and how dominant he could be even more so if he was able to get his weight, his diet under control and be a more consistent player because that's what we're looking for from him for the Pelicans because, I mean, Zion Williamson was supposed to be the face of the league. If you guys liked our fil film review content, please like, subscribe, and we just reached 100 subscribers. We're really happy about that benchmark, but we're on to 500, so hopefully you guys can join us on that journey.